Out one man was killed and six other party goers were wounded. WBZ's Paul Burton spoke to police and to the dead man's brother. A night of celebration turned deadly on the streets of Lynn early Saturday morning. As police say, seven people were shot on Essex Street in what police are describing as a targeted drive-by shooting. Responding units found multiple victims suffering from gunshot wounds. They immediately began rendering aid. 25-year-old Abraham Diaz of Lynn was killed in the shooting. His older brother Brian says Abraham loved his community and worked hard to make a difference. Giving back to kids, looking out for kids, and... Um, and about his community and just wanted to make sure everyone was all right. Vinny Laura says Abraham was like a mentor to him. They met at the Boys and Girls Club. He says the group was celebrating a friend who was about to go off to college. Just probably celebrating, you know, one last, you know, good, you know, weekend probably and then heading off to college and now they can't even do that. On Saturday, investigators spent the day gathering information and speaking with neighbors. All of the victims were rushed to the hospital, two of them in critical condition. Four received non-life-threatening injuries. There were shots fired from a vehicle. That's, that's part of what we're looking for now to identify not only the perpetrators but the vehicle itself. We are committed to holding those accountable responsible for this senseless act of violence. No family should have to suffer the loss of a loved one under circumstances like this. Brian says his baby brother loved the game of basketball and used his skills on the court to help others. I never thought I would get that call, but he was a really good basketball player. Um, and, you know, that's pretty much it. I, I just can't believe this happened. I'm still trying to process it. There's uh, multiple people that we know personally, that we hang out with and laugh with that are right now in the hospital fighting for their lives. Police are still asking for the public's help. Anyone with information is asked to contact police. The shooting remains under investigation. In Lynn, I'm Paul Burton, WBZ News.